Hello everyone, my name is Alan and today I'm going to show you how to play the song Echoes. This is a very long song so I'm just going to blast through, okay? For this introduction, you're going to play a very high B note. And this is a piano sound going through a Leslie speaker. And then... Play two octaves of a C sharp note. So here it's basically just improvisation on top of this suspended chord. The song is in the key of C sharp minor. So this would be one, three, five. The B note is the seventh. And then you're playing five, four, one, five, four, one, five, four, five, four, five, four, seven, five, four, five, Improvise on top of the suspended chord. Um, the whole chord would be C sharp minor, 7, and we're playing more the tonic, the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh. We play the third so much, at least for this introduction. It feels more unstable if you keep playing the seventh and the fourth. This would be the, the full chord, the original chord. Okay, then the dynamic goes down and you fall into two chords, F sharp minor, ascending arpeggio pattern, C sharp minor, the tonic and the third. So it's just an ascending arpeggio pattern. basic improvisation on top of the chords. Okay, then you play a little bit more on top of the two chords, F sharp minor and C sharp minor. Eventually this comes again. And then comes the verses. So the verses start with C sharp minor. This is a, the third inversion of C sharp minor. First inversion of G sharp minor. sharp major. So pay attention, the first time it's C sharp minor, G sharp minor, and then F sharp minor, and G sharp major. Okay, so it's these four chords for two times, and then it's major. So This is another part. So C sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, G sharp major. Two times. And then C sharp major, G sharp major, F sharp minor, G sharp major, A major, C sharp minor. So for this
this next part, this is where the ascending, descending chromatic melody comes in. So the first chord is C sharp minor. this chord change you're just gonna switch one note this G sharp becomes an A but the progression just pay attention that the first time you, you play this it's full chord and the neck the second time it's and in the third time is and eventually And then comes the funky part. Then I switch my organ patch to a distorted Hammond sound. Look at the difference. So now I don't think we're anymore in the key of C sharp minor because the solo begins with right playing an F sharp major chord like and then guitar and keyboards keep exchanging solos at one another but the, these solos are I like to think as in the key of B major or uh, G sharp minor he plays a lot around these two chords, F sharp major and C sharp minor. And then he does a couple of different phrases because this is just improvisation. I really can't teach you that much about what to do here. Just like play in your own ability, play how well you do it. Just don't think too much about it. Just if you know the B major scale, try playing around that. But he does a couple of different phrases like <laughs> then guitar solo and then comes back to the keyboard. Just improvise however you do it. Then dynamic goes down, the key, one solo keyboard, solo guitar, solo keyboard, solo, and then dynamic goes way down, and then um, this middle section begins, which is uh, the psychedelic Sid Barrett um, section of the song where there are the seagull effects, the guitar effects. For this part, I just um, use a, a wind sound. This is just noise that is being generated inside um, a Jupiter 8 synthesizer. I don't really do anything, I just let the noise be there. And guitar makes noises, drums make, no make noises, bass make noises. I just leave the, the, the wind there. Eventually, slowly fades in. B minor chord in a Farfisa organ sound. And slowly fade out to the wind. I'm gonna hold this, this chord with my sustain pedal.
this section, you're going to play two chords in your right hand or in your left hand. I don't really care. You can do it however you like, but you have to play chords with one hand and improvise with the other. So this is B minor chord and A major chord. Improvise very much on top of the arpeggios, on top of the chord. But you have to pay attention that the guitar is actually playing not these two chords. Um, the guitar is playing four notes, which are B. This is the, uh, the main idea behind this part, but dynamics very slowly builds up until the whole band kicks in, like the drums, bah, the same chords. This is a modulation, a whole tone modulation. We were playing B, ma B minor, A major. Now we're going to play a whole tone up. So C sharp minor, B major. And these four notes that were B, F sharp, D. These become C sharp, G sharp. for two times and then all the way back to the verses. taught you that so you know what to do just remember the first time full chord second time the third time okay when the verse ends the first time um, the song falls into the funky solo part right now in the end the verse um, falls into the outro um, which is the same four chords But dynamic is down, and I actually have another patch to play this with my left hand here. Because you play C sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, G sharp major, and improvise with the same piano patch from the introduction. Richard Wright actually played a lot on top of the chords, on top of the arpeggios, so here. Just to show you, I'm just going to play chord notes. I'm, just, I'm not going to play any note outside of the chords. So these are we call triads, major and minor chords. Without the seventh, we call triads. They're just three notes. So I'm just going to play the three notes, the same three notes that I'm playing with my left hand, I'm going to be playing in the piano. And it's going to sound really nice. So if you don't know, if, if you're not... Um, 
an astounding musician who can improvise like hell, don't worry, just play the same notes of the chords. That's the way I started, that's the way everyone starts to learn how to improvise. So C sharp man. forget the B note. This has to keep coming back at you. That's the outro. Uh, I think that's everything. You know the introduction, you know the verses, you know the solos, you know the middle section, I just use sound for it, you know the build-up, uh, Farfisa organ part, and you know the, the next verses and the outro. That's Echoes. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. My name is Alan, I make videos about music, about Pink Floyd, about keyboards mainly, but not only that. If you like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and share this video with your friends who want to learn more about keyboards and about Pink Floyd. So thank you, I'll see you next time.